Christmas time is a joyful time. There are many passages that talks about the first Christmas and the meaning of Christmas. So the greatest news for the whole world, the good news is the Son of God, Lord Jesus Christ, is born in this world. Before he was born, there were some events that is recorded in the Bible. Virgin Mary received the message sent by God through angel Gabriel that she will bring forth the son who will be the Messiah. Joseph, who was already engaged with Mary, was a righteous man and wondered how this could happen. Then he had a dream that Joseph was instructed to take Mary because the child is the Messiah who is born because the Spirit of God had overwhelmed Mary and the child is special. So, Joseph also was informed that the Messiah will save us from our sins. So, in the world, people want to be delivered from the consequences of sins of others. For example, those who live in a country where the political dictators are ruining the country, the people are oppressed and they want deliverance from the sinful acts of their leaders. Even Israelite wanted deliverance from Pharaoh because he was oppressing them. So there are other reasons like some want deliverance from the economic oppression. Some want deliverance from a marriage which does not work. They want deliverance from the consequence of abusive, sinful spots. So in the world People always want deliverance from the consequences, acts of sins of others, which is, which drives society, which drives, drives politics, which drives several movements. But Christmas is about our own sins. So Lord Jesus Christ came into this world to save us from our sins. So Paul writes, I want to do good, I am unable to do good because sin indwells in me. The principle of sin is active in me. So all descendants of Adam and Eve, that is all humanity, we have inherited sin for the age. Second, we also commit sins, which is deliberate act. We know that this is not right, this is not good, this is not okay. Yet we do that. And there are occasions, we call it a sin of omission. We have the power to do good, power to do what is right, but we do not do that. That means we sin against God. The inherited sin, the committed sin, the omitted acts, which is called a sin. All these oppresses us. The wages of sin is death. Lord Jesus Christ came to deliver us from sin so that every individual can receive forgiveness and live in right relationship with God. 
So let us look inward towards us. Self-examine ourselves. Repent and receive Lord Jesus Christ and his forgiveness. And then seek the deliverance from the consequences of sins of others. So let us have the first thing first. Let us repent, ask forgiveness, receive Lord Jesus Christ in faith and celebrate this Christmas. May God bless you.